Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Neat here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys an inside look at the new Mountain Lion operating system that Apple made available through their first developer preview this week. So I'm just going to give you guys a run through of some of the major features that they have added. So let's start off with Safari. One of the great things I love about Safari uh, in Mountain Lion is the fact that uh, the address bar and the Google search bar have now been unified into one bar here at the top. So you'll see it now says search Google or enter an address. So if I just type in a phrase like Nate's tech update and then I press enter, it's going to assume that I'm doing a Google search because I did not enter the dot com. So this works exactly as it does in Google Chrome. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed is how easy it is to now share uh, web pages that you're viewing. So if you open up the share menu here, you'll be able to add it to your reading list, add a bookmark, email the web page. You can use the messages app that I demoed in a uh, previous video. You can also use Twitter. So Twitter has now been integrated just as it was into iOS 5. Uh, it is also now integrated into Mountain Line. So if I choose Twitter, it's going to open up this uh, menu here and it's got this note card and it's got a preview of this web page on the right hand side you can add a location and when you're done you can choose send uh, then the next thing I want to talk about was reader so in uh, lion the reader icon would always appear in the uh, web address bar right here now it has been separated out so it um, when reader is not enabled you'll see it right here it is not highlighted in blue because you can't use it and then when it is ready to be used you can uh, select it right there so it'll bring you into the nice reader format so that is Safari. Now I want to talk about Notification Center. So it's uh, in Mountain Lion, notifications are now going to be a part of the operating system, just like it is in iOS 5. So if you uh, click on this icon right here next to the spotlight icon in the upper right hand corner, it's going to open up the Notification Center. So I'm going to uh, open up the Messages app and show you guys how Notification Center works. So I'm going to send myself a message. And I'll just minimize this real quick. And you'll see that uh, there's now a blue icon here. This indicates that a new notification has been received. If I open it up, you'll see that message right here. If I select it, then uh, it will be cleared right there. So uh, now I want to talk about the other different sort of uh, notifications that you can get. So if you open up System Preferences, there will be a new notification section right here. And this will give you a whole bunch of options just as you'll see in iOS. Uh, so we'll select the Messages app. So currently I don't have any uh, alert style, but you can choose between banner and alerts just like you can in iOS. So let's select banner and we'll close out of here and I'm going to send myself another message and I'll have to have another window open to show you guys how this works. So I'll send myself a message, head back into this app and you'll see the alert has now appeared right here. So this shows you a preview of the message itself and then eventually it will just slide away and you'll see it right here in Notification Center and then you can go ahead and just clear it out. So uh, just uh, some really great notifications here in, I, uh, in Mountain Lion itself. And uh, as I said before, you have the notification section in System Preferences, so you can customize all of these options for each individual app, and you can choose which apps you don't want to have enabled for Notification Center. Uh, next up, then, I wanted to talk about some of the new apps that Apple has added. So we'll start off with Game Center. And uh, in Game Center, it looks a lot like it does on iOS and you'll be able to uh, look at your friends, see what games they have, and you'll be able to head into the App Store and purchase games from the Mac App Store for Game Center. And uh, you can see your request for your friends, and you can use this search menu here uh, for your friends, uh, the games, and the requests. Now, what's gonna be great about Game Center is that as developers start to use this in Mountain Line when it is released, what is the, this is going to allow you to actually compete against players using an iOS game. So, um, for example, right now, Real Racing is available both for iOS and the Mac. If they update that application, they can make it so that people playing on the Mac can compete against uh, players also playing on iOS devices. So that's going to be pretty cool when they can unify this entire experience. Now we'll talk about Notes. So Notes right here, uh, it's got that same iOS look and feel to it. You can type in whatever you want. So I just had test note right here. You can add a new note by selecting the plus icon and uh, you can change the layout right here. So currently it's with my iCloud account and also they've got the share menu so you can email it and use messages. So that's notes. Uh, then we'll also want to take a look at reminders. And reminders here, you can just add a new reminder, uh, type in whatever you want and then you can uh, check mark it and it will go into your completed right there and uh, you can pull up a calendar at the bottom here you can uh, add a new list right there 
and you can change the look of the window. And what's great about this is with iCloud integration, this is all going to be controlled between all of your devices. So by, by adding reminders uh, to, onto the Mac, if you add a new reminder on your Mac, those reminders will also be added to your iOS devices. The only difference is you can't really add a location for a Mac. Um, so on iOS devices, you can have it remind you when you arrive at a certain location. If you got a desktop like a Mac, that's really not gonna be a useful feature anyway. Uh, now we'll take a look at um, the launch pad here. I just wanna show you a difference that I noticed. There's now a new search bar here at the top so you can search for applications. Um, so if you wanna look for messages, you'll see it appears right there. Uh, so if you've got a lot of apps, that's gonna be a nice feature for you uh, to sort through everything that you have and quickly get to the application that you're looking for. Uh, then we'll take a look also at um, the widgets uh, menu right here. If you press the plus icon, you're going to see they have a new look. They look sort of like iOS applications uh, at this point. So to wrap up this video, I want to talk about two quick things. Uh, first, now, uh, officially changing the way you're going to call their operating system on the Mac. So if you head to About This Mac, you'll now see it is called OS 10. So in the past, it was called Mac OS 10. Now they've dropped the Mac out of it. Um, so that's the new name change that they've added there. Also then with the software update section, that has now been all unified into the Mac App Store. If you, so if you select software update, it's going to open up the Mac App Store. It's going to open up the update section and check for new software. So not only is it going to be checking for updates on your applications, but Apple will also issue updates to the Mac operating system through here. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.